What happened to amazing lights? What's up, bravers, glovers, and jesticles alike? If you are here, you have one burning question that the title of this video captures succinctly. What the fuck happened to the biggest gloving company to ever exist? How did it die? And now what? Where do we buy our necessities? Are there any new lights coming out? Well, fret not, jesticles. Your boy is putting down the giant glow sticks for a gloving video that y'all better do something with because all the analytics show me YouTubers don't care about gloving. Casual guilt tripping aside, I'm here to answer these questions and tease some upcoming gloving news before returning to my standard scheduled saber spinning. So what happened to amazing lights? The Shark Tank approved rave style finger dance powerhouse was brought down by COVID? Good guess, but actually no. COVID played a huge part and might have been the final nail in the coffin. Many aspects of rave and festival culture suffered due to COVID, and I personally very much fell out of the rave scene around that time. Not surprisingly, an interpersonal activity like gloving suffered due to COVID. However, that was the proverbial last straw. Amazing Lights has been on a downward track since 2016, and arguments can even be made for 2015. 2015 was peak. IGC that year was one of the biggest ever, and it was preceded by a ton of activity, including boss qualifications across the country. I personally won in Miami. After IGC, we were promised more, bigger, and better with all the growth Amazing was predicting due to partnerships with a certain shark Cuban. That never came to pass. Instead, the sponsorship program was put on the back burner so that they could initiate a community growth program called Regional Leaders. The goal was to create community leaders by giving them the means to run events. It worked for a while, but some areas had a harder time working with Amazing staff than others, and things fell apart. It quickly devolved into a hemorrhage of resources with no return on investment. There is no denying that an investment that doesn't return anything can kill a company. And that's what started the slow slide. Eventually, all the good things about Amazing were scaled back. Featured videos slowed to a halt. Competitions, especially sanctioned ones, all but dried up. And we went years without any technology to speak of. Just month after month of broken community Spectra apps. Now, if you're an OG of the gloving community or were active enough in 2015 and 2016, you'll probably remember something else that happened to Amazing around that time. The lawsuit. Amazing, into the AM group now technically, is still the owner of the patent from Microlights that was taken out by CoinPro LLC back when Gloving first started to get its legs. Amazing acquired CoinPro and thereby the patent sometime around 2014-ish. My history is a bit rusty, but the info is probably in my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving, the Literal Handbook, available now on yougotmoves.com backslash handbook, get yours now. Now, that could have meant EL had the rights to ask every other company for for royalties on making microlights, but they didn't. What they did do was go after the programmer of an open source microlight who had the plans to release a computer programmable USB chip that could have more software built onto it. Why on earth would EL make such a cartoonishly evil capitalist CEO villain arc move like this? Well, because the developer of said OSM was employed by Amazing to create said microlight under contract and chose rather to rage quit, chose rather to rage quit and sell his designs as another product away from Amazing. There by breaking his contract. Now, it's too late to take sides. The lawsuit ended in a stalemate as far as I'm aware. There was a court-ordered cease and desist for all companies selling the OSM, and I think the dev eventually settled for whatever money he had left to his name, but it split the community down the middle in terms of who to support. So many people on both sides had reasons to be upset. Ultimately, Amazing lost out on more than it gained by pursuing its legal contracts. Frankly, it might be the single most impactful reason why EL lost its steam in 2016 and 2017. Amazing themselves like to blame Insomniac for banning gloves at their music events to comply with the Rave Act. Let me say that again. Comply with the Rave Act, which is some stupid Joe Biden bullshit law. So if you voted for him and still go to shows, shame on you. But that's all the political I'm going to get. All politicians are bad. The truth is, on the West Coast, gloving was stunted by this mass banning in events. But in the rest of the country, there were plenty of untapped opportunities to sell gloves at festivals, anime conventions, and other novelty gatherings. It was simply lack of vision or effort on Amazing's part. All of these things led to Amazing's slow decline, along with numerous product release blunders that devalued the brand's quality reputation in communities not limited to gloving. 
point and orbiters have entered the chat. Finally, COVID hit, music stopped, and Amazing survived on life support from its two sister companies, IHR and Into the AM, who undoubtedly suffered from the panorama as well. When music resumed, there was a final gasp of life from Amazing, one last hope of a resurgence before they announced their final goodbyes in late 2022. The once towering giant in the gloving community was laying slain by a handful of pebbles and poor choices. So now what? Well, for starters, you can always get your white glove replacements at yougotmoves.com backslash gloves, and that's a great way to support this channel. If you need batteries, you can find 1620s, 1225s, and more on Amazon if you search in bulk. As for gloving gear, there are a few smaller companies that still exist to hold the torch for us, including Glow LEDs, who has gloves, batteries, and other accessories, and I think futuristic lights still exists, maybe? But right now, the innovation is coming out of the Orbit community. Mastermind behind StoneOrbits.com has built us a new open source platform with the Vortex wired glove set last year. Since then, he has been working tirelessly to cut the cords so he can use that technology crossed between gloves and orbits. Now he's about to release the Duo Orbit Light and has two lights per chip and complete programmability functionality. It even comes with rechargeable batteries that last up to four hours on max output and recharge within 45 minutes, complete with a docking bay and everything. Now, technically, he says these are an Orbit Light because he's an Orbit company, but they just so happen to fit EL cases and they go nicely at the end of fingertips, so he can't really stop you from doing what you want with the chips when you buy them. I don't know about you, but I might be an Orbit guy now. So there it is. EL is dead, but gloving isn't, unless you consider the fact that the best gloving innovation is coming out of an Orbit company, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Remember to use Jest 3M for 10% off the costs of a company funeral. My link tree in the description for other ways to support the channel, and remember, it's better to be weird than boring.